Welcome back to Brainchilla. Today, we shine a spotlight on a notorious invader, a creature that has made its mark all across the globe, rats. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of these adaptable rodents and explore why they are considered the second most invasive animal on our planet. Let's dive into the intriguing realm of rats. Rats have earned their reputation as prolific reproducers. Their rapid reproductive rate allows them to establish thriving populations within a relatively short period in any new land that they chance upon, making them formidable invaders. Additionally, a study conducted in a rural area in England found that a pair of brown rats over a span of three years produced approximately 15,000 descendants. Due to their rapid reproduction, rats possess remarkable adaptability and survival skills, which contribute to their success as invasive species. They can thrive in various habitats from urban areas to forests and are adept at exploiting diverse food sources. Their ability to gnaw through various materials and squeeze through small openings grants them access to otherwise inaccessible spaces. To give a better idea, let's take a closer look at the black rat, or also known scientifically as ratus ratus, which is a prime example of the rat's adaptability. Black rats originated in Southeast Asia, but spread worldwide through maritime trade. Black rats are skilled climbers and can infest structures by accessing rooftops, attics, and even trees, making them successful invaders in urban and rural environments. Rats have hitchhiked across the world alongside human activities. Historically, they stowed away on ships during maritime trade, spreading to new continents and islands. In modern times, global transportation networks facilitate their unintentional introductions to new regions, leading to their widespread presence on every continent except Antarctica. Fun fact. The introduction of the brown rat to many countries can be traced back to the era of European colonialism. Ships traveling for trade and exploration unknowingly carried rats, allowing them to colonize new territories. Today, brown rats are found worldwide, causing significant agricultural and economic damage. The ecological impact of rats as invasive species is profound. They can outcompete native species for resources prey upon small animals, and disturb fragile ecosystems. Rats' voracious appetite and ability to consume a wide range of foods further disrupts natural food chains, affecting both flora and fauna. For example, on islands such as Lord Howe Island in Australia, the introduction of the black rat decimated the populations of native bird species like the Lord Howe wood hen. The rats preyed upon eggs and chicks, leading to the decline of these unique and endemic bird populations. Furthermore, rats pose significant threats to agriculture and the economy. They damage crops, destroy stored food supplies, and contaminate food production facilities. The economic toll of rat infestations includes loss of agricultural yields, damage to infrastructure, and increased expenses for pest control measures. In the rice-producing regions of Southeast Asia, Rats are a major agricultural pest, causing significant crop losses. A study conducted in the Mekong Delta in Vietnam estimated that rats consumed an astonishing 5-10% of the annual rice production, resulting in substantial economic losses for the farmers. The rats are quite literally eating into their profits. Rats are notorious carriers of diseases that can affect humans and animals alike. They can transmit pathogens through direct contact, bites, or via their urine and droppings. Diseases such as leptospirosis, hantavirus, and the infamous bubonic plague have been associated with rats, highlighting the public health risks they pose. Now that we have covered the significance of the issues that rats bring about, let us look at the various ways in which we can control rat populations as it is crucial to mitigate their impact. Firstly, Integrated pest management strategies involving a combination of techniques such as trapping, baiting, and exclusion can be employed to manage infestations. Additionally, a study published in the journal PLOS-1 highlighted a promising approach to rat control using contraceptive bait. 
By using a bait laced with a contraceptive drug, researchers demonstrated a significant reduction in rat populations over time without the use of toxic substances such as rat poison. And there you have it. The captivating world of rats, the second most invasive animal on our planet. Their adaptability, rapid reproduction, and global spread make them formidable invaders. By understanding their ecological impact, the damage they cause to agriculture and economies, and the risks they pose to public health, we can work towards effective control and management strategies. While managing invasive rats, it's crucial to protect and preserve native rat species and maintain a delicate balance in our ecosystems. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and turn on the notification bell as it would help out the channel tremendously.